SCP in the cloud is, I think, it's a very, very interesting. That service delivery platforms moving from your traditional license silo-based systems into more moving into the whole cloud services. I think you know what is going to happen is you know a lot of operators whom we are talking are very interested to seeing you know how does this work, how does this really bring value to the organization. And we feel that you know SDP in the cloud is going to be the next wave of telco applications. You know, you know the way things are moving into the into the cloud, but SDP will give you quite an interesting uh, benefit. Just to tell you a couple of the benefits that you know that we see, people are moving away from being a capital expenditure to an operational expenditure, you know, like from capex to an opex. So that's what the you know the cloud services will provide you. You don't need you don't need to go and fork out uh, hundreds and millions of dollars to buy this whole system in house. You will start using it as needed. And if it is successful, you will pay more. If that particular service is not successful, you don't need to pay more. So that's called the capex to the opex model. Also, operators are finding it, you know, very, very much is that you know time to market. It's becoming very, very difficult to time to market any application because the amount of, you know, testing you have to do, the amount of, you know, um, integration that you have to do, which, which is becoming a quite uh, difficult task if you want to bring new applications to market. SDP in the cloud, you will be doing a lot of your testing and all that stuff while the development is going on. You will be able to kind of a very easily build, you know, your applications that, that you will be able to really bring it to market very fast. And the third one is risk mitigation. You know, in the risk mitigation, I think what we are talking about is that earlier, if you were going to bring uh, value-added services, you had to do quite a lot of your know, ROI analysis. You know, you had to look to talk about you know what's the market segments, you know how much the uh, uh, solutions of this will be sold and stuff like that. But having the cloud service, you just enable that particular application, let the market decide whether they are interested in or in in it or not. If they say that this is a great application, that's fine. You know, then you increase more bandwidth and you actually, you know, increase your SLAs into that. If they decide this is not an application that you know the market is not interested in, you don't need to kind of uh, keep keep it on. So your risk, you know, is reducing this kind of a thing where you will actually pay more for ones that are doing well and you know forget about the things that the applications that are not doing well. How soon will it come to Asia? I think uh, it will happen sooner than later, mainly because I think you know the operators are finding it uh, more and more difficult to go into large capex-based solutions because of market conditions and because of competitive pressures. But they are also looking at what are the innovative ways that we can bring these products and services to our customers. For that, you know, using a cloud services, using a SDP in the cloud or using the applications in the cloud will become a huge thing. Third thing is if you have a cloud services SDP, you are going to build a, develop a community around this which will be able to kind of a provide very, very good application. And this developer community does not have to be localized to your own, own country or to your own region. I mean, this developer community can be your whole world because you're going to have your developer kits online, you're going to have your SDKs online, so or any developer can actually download these things and start building applications and then test it with your simulators and they, you can, they can upload the applications when they are ready for the operator to decide, okay, these are very good, we will actually get them published that can go into their community and they will all be done on a revenue share basis. So, what we see is that you know SDP being on the cloud, having this developer community will really create a certain amount of critical mass for this whole vast applications to take off. With this, what will happen is that now you will have a pool of very good developers applications that you can bring to your customers as needed or immediate. What's happening now is that with the people are moving their applications to the cloud, you also get an opportunity now to be able to develop applications and host them in the cloud. So 
uh, a sdp in the cloud will enable you to be able to link into these applications and deliver that applications to the customers plus now operators have access to their customer assets Mm -hmm. the, their location services, some of the profiling of the customers. So now operators can able, uh, will be able to expose some of these APIs so that your developer community can use them and build very, very sophisticated advanced applications. So that's why I think SDP in the cloud is, I, I would look at and say it's the next big thing on, next killer thing that happened is the SDP in the cloud.